Hey guys, Inferno here. Playing a game called Base One by Pix, Froze, and Blowfish Studios. Now this comes out on Steam on uh, May 11th, a couple of days' time. Let me miss the store. So, Base One is a space based builder game where you take control of a network of space stations and its crews, tasks, and well being. Maintain your resources and defenses as you navigate the wide array of dangers ahead of you. So you can see there it's a very sim management game. A little bit of an RPG twist apparently. After a large wormhole tears the moon apart and causes unprecedented levels of natural disasters, the Earth Global Union create the Solution Space Exploration Program in order to explore the wormhole for a new home. As a member of the Solution Program, it's up to you to expand the fleet, find net valuable resources and new planets to inhabit, and maybe even save the Earth from ecological destruction. Uh, yeah, we got a couple of days early access, so thank you, Blowfish Studios, for the review key. Uh, the tutorial is up on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash c slash 1inferno89. See this tutorial, but now we're going to start the campaign. Uh, so got episode 1, 2, 3, and episode 4 is DLC. Proof and Gowns was quite good tutorial. So let's go to Arrival. The mothership Heraclids, with 2,000 colonists on board, crashes when leaving the wormhole funnel in the Hope planetary system. There is debris everywhere. Nothing is left of the ship. There is no connection with the Earth, and those few who manage to survive are trying to decide what to do next. All right. Let's start. I've left tutorial mode on, just so I can remember. Earth, What's the it? cradle of humanity, our common home. You gave us life, food, and technology. We have grown. We have built shining cities to the heavens. We have risen up to great heights and fallen down to the depths. And we have traversed the path of war and suffering. Now, all this can disappear, turn to dust. Disaster struck us 14 years ago. Space seemed to be turned inside out. A huge, luminous funnel appeared near the moon. It grew rapidly, turning into a giant whirlpool. It was a wormhole. It radiated with the strongest gravity. Huge chunks began to break off from the moon. They slowly floated through space and disappeared in the center of the funnel. The moon lost some of its mass. A wave of cataclysms passed over the entire surface of the Earth. Giant waves flooded many coastal cities. Sleeping volcanoes awakened and earthquakes began. The gravity of the wormhole partially compensated for the loss of the moon's mass and everything gradually subsided. But the damage was incredible. Cities lay in ruins. The economies of entire countries were destroyed. As we began to heal wounds and rebuild our cities, humanity gradually came to its senses. We began to research the wormhole and learned a lot. But along with the knowledge came the terrible truth. Over time, the moon will be destroyed, and with it, life on Earth will disappear Soon, dozens of automatic ships and satellites were sent into the wormhole. The best minds of mankind studied the data for months on end, and suddenly it turned out that this was a door to another world, to a world at the other end of the galaxy. Yes, it was hope. To find a new home, start all over again. Who knows what awaited us there, beyond. Maybe this is a chance. A chance to become more than we are. A chance to get answers to our eternal questions. Who are we and where do we come from? And so we built a fleet, a great fleet, with millions of tons of metal shining in the sun and 2,000 hearts on board. We entered the wormhole and traveled through space. 
we were ready for what was next. Okay. So we've played a game called Planet Base. You'll be similar to this game. You'll be familiar with this game. And uh, it's basically Planet Base in space, which is really cool because I love Planet Base. So you basically have a, a central hub and then you've got to build on modules and provide them with oxygen, power, logistics, warmth even. And then do probing search missions into asteroids and near derelict ships and that kind of thing. There's question marks of things you can search. All right, episode one, arrival in the Hope system, 100,000 kilometers from the wormhole. Uh, incoming video call. Oh my god, you're alive! I thought that there was nobody left. How many of you have survived? Is anyone injured? There's four of us left. Everything is okay now. What happened? It seems there is nothing left of the Heraclids. Only a small group survived. Two freighters and your team. One ship is heavily damaged while it's not clear what to do with it. The Carnegie, unfortunately, didn't survive. Carnegie had communications equipment on it. Is it possible to use it to establish a connection with Earth? I think you can try to assemble a transceiver module. A small part of the wreckage has been thrown out of the wormhole. It seems to be Heraclid's. If we examine it, perhaps then we will find something useful. So, what's the plan? We need to check all the debris. We also need to check on one of the freighters, but so far we can't move. Our control and navigation are damaged. Will you check on the debris? In the hub, there should be enough construction kits for assembly hangar module and launching the probe. While you get started on this, we will evaluate the condition of the ships. Sure, we'll do. Offline. All right. We're going to build a small last support solar panels, hangar, install the battery device, ELD device, and install a probe launcher. So up here, you've got Construction, research tree, supply, crew, station storage, reports, communications, connections, station interior. You can do that in the options. So we're going to construct a small life support. And you can see there that you can join on directly onto there or you can, you know, create like a little hallway type thing. But I'm going to put it straight up there. At the, in these early early missions, it doesn't really make too much difference where you place them. But obviously, if you played simulation games like this, situation uh, position will be very important later. Okay, so we've got small life support. Now uh, we want to build power as well. This one here, because of the solar panel underneath, you've got to bring it out a fair bit. And then around this side. I'm going to put the hanger. There. Alright, so you got crew members that go down into a lift to go EVA and then start building. Charlie Turner, small life support assembly completed, ready for something, something. It scrolls very fast, but I'm using the mouse button, but that's okay, you get used to it. Uh, so now you've got to do devices. So you have to build an ELD device and a, and a battery. So I'm going to put the battery on this side here, close to the solar panels. Now, I believe, I'm, I, I think from the tutorial, you can only have that one ELD will be able to do one room. Show you in a minute. So, uh, so we're gonna wait for this ELD. So at the moment it's saying it's got no O2 and no heat. Same with this room itself. So, gotta wait for these ELDs and the battery to be assembled, and we need a crew member to do that too. So, um, thankfully, there's no time limit on these early missions so far. 
under no pressure to kind of you know build order and that kind of thing all right so we've got the hangar here you can install probe launcher mining drone launcher or gas drone launcher there are only four slots in this module do not forget to connect heat and oxygen to the module otherwise the probe slash drone operators will not be able to get to their workplaces so I, mean, I played this offline yesterday and that was one of my issues is I couldn't get the oxygen connected to it and therefore the probes weren't launching and then the mission wasn't progressing etc right so we've got to install a battery device which is being assembled or an ELD device is being assembled and we've got to install a probe launcher so let's do that get a probe launcher into there Okay, now close that and go to connections. Here you can connect devices to each other using various types of connections, energy, heat, oxygen, water and logistics. Just select the device you want to connect and select target device or point. For example, power connection, battery to solar panels or battery to ELD. You can switch to connection layers in order to find the desired connection mode. So, we have power now beautiful right so power needs to go to the ELD and power also needs to go to the solar panels now it's saying no logistics so the ELD needs logistics to the hub like that now it's all saying we need O2 and heat. So let's go to heat. Now I believe one ELD will do one room for heat. So yeah, so I've just made that connection there. Probe launcher assembly's done, ready for the next one. Okay. Uh damn it, I should have read that. I wanted to read that. Hey, here you can select the appropriate group of targets for scanning. In auto mode, the probe scans all resources in a row. Okay, so you can select asteroids, gas clouds, anomalies, debris, auto. Okay, incoming call. Pericles, chief engineer, huh? Well done. Our situation isn't good. One freighter is in critical condition. It will have to be completely disassembled. But then we may have enough resources to build a small station. Are you ready to start scanning? Almost. We have another problem. We're low on supplies. There's no food, water, repair kits, and much more. Oh, then it's better to search for supplies first. There are a lot of small debris and containers around. Scan those with a probe. There are probably valuable resources there. I only hope the probe doesn't let us down. That sounds good. Begin. Right. Um, so, power... Let's go to probe scanning basis. Probes allow you to find resources on the map. For example, you can scan debris and extract something useful from them. To do this, you need to build the hangar module and install and connect the probe launcher. To do this, use a power and logistics connections. The station storage must contain a working probe. The probe is controlled by the operator and has several modes of operation. In auto mode, it independently searches and scans any available resources, but you can see it. Any other mode. Right, uh, so we're back to heat now. So this has heat there. Now this one, I am going to heat the uh, hanger. And so that's only one, yep. And then oxygen, again, pretty sure yeah, they only do one oxygen each, so we'll put oxygen into the hangar there too. And we need logistics. Yeah. And then we need power there. Oh, does power need to go there? Yes, power needs there. Okay, so power it does multiple things, but obviously the more things connected to it, the, the more it depletes the reserves. Now this needs O2 and heat, so uh, 
and then if I go back to so that's got heat now oxygen I put oxygen oh that's getting oxygen already okay oh no logistics for that one okay so I go back to logistics that has to go there to logistics power yeah so that's got heat that's got heat so I need to do one more ELD go there which will be heat and oxygen right so if I go close that go that do a module ELD more one, one more there all right so now we've got a probe let's go to debris And then unknown object and three. Okay, so can I go there to there? No. Anyway, that that new ELD is done, so that needs power. Go back to connections. Let's go back to power. There. We need logistics from there to there. We need heat from there to there. We need oxygen there to there. Boom. Alright. That's comfortable. That's comfortable. Basic conditions there. There, okay. Now that's getting breathed heavily, 3 out of 10 oxygen, and heat is warming up, so that's cool. Yeah, that. Now, probe is ready. Let's put it onto auto. Okay, so is it going to shoot one out? Oh, there it goes. This probe. Is going to here, then it's going to go there. That's cool. Oh, it takes a little while, so I might speed it up a bit. So we found a repair kit. That's that zooms off to over here. That's so cool. Maybe I'll get another one. Why not? While we wait. That's going to need power too. So we'll wait for that to build. Go to power. Power. And then it also needs logistics. There. Alright, so we found water, D kits, and repair kits. It's got no probe. How do you get a probe in? Maybe there's an operator too. Right, so we need M kits and we need food. Food and then last one. The M kits, I guess. You are indeed lucky. It looks like there are plenty of useful resources. I didn't want to tell you, as I thought we could handle it ourselves, but we have a serious problem here. The condition of most of our crew is poor. Fractures, injuries, burns. We can assemble a med bay and help them, but so far we just have bandages and analgesics. That's enough for now. Can you build a docking bay? We will send all injured people to you. can we will do it as quickly as possible all right 
right, so we've got a build a med bay module and a docking bay module. Right, so how do we do that when we've only got this construction we need? A med bay? Ah, so I'm assuming we can build off the med bay. And then let's build a docking station. R to rotate. Ah, so once that's... Oh, hang on, we can do it off here. Can we? Oh, hang on. Ah, because... Aha. Uh -huh. We can do one, we just have to get... The view of uh, the field. Yeah, see that one there, Med Bay. This is. Yep. That's, okay, so Med Bay and then Docking Bay. Sweet. Okay, I've just completed the module assembly. This is the place to install medical devices such as medical station. In total, up to four such stations can be installed. Do not forget to connect heat and oxygen to the module, otherwise the medics and patients will not be able to get here. Hmm, important. Okay, so we're going to need... ...more life support because... Oh, hang on. Oh, we don't have enough materials? Yes, we do. Can I do that? Off there. That's oh there we go. Oh, last thing. Picked up, definitely. Okay. Uh so we can certainly do oops, we can certainly do power. But I reckon oh that's that's getting low actually, so I might just leave that there for those three things. And then assemble this small life support to, to service these stations. So they're done. So we're going to go here. We're going to go construct. We're going to put three LDs down. We're going to put power module down. Boom. And then probe launcher, medicine. So we're going to put a medicine one down. There. Once these are done, we can power, logistics, oxygen, heat, then we'll get the docking station going. Oh, let's speed up the gameplay again. Alright, so I've got one ELD, two ELDs. Now we're gonna need. We don't. We can't do anything yet. Oh, yes, we can really do logistics. Do not power yet. Heat we can do. So we can do heat to there. This one can do heat to there. And then this one. Heat to there. I need to go back to logistics. And then what? Okay, so we've got a medical station finished. Medical station. This device is for basic diagnosis of injuries or illnesses and simple treatment without surgery. For example, you can cure the cold or an infection using drugs. Apply a bandage in the event of a fracture, injury, or apply analgesic burns. Do not forget to connect the device to the station's storage in the hub through the logistics connection for the supply of drugs. To control this device, 
requires a medic. Important one medic can control only one medical station. Right. Alright, so we're going to need power. Oops, we got video call. Are you ready for us to send over our injured crew? We will fly them to you and they can dock with the station. Wait a minute, we don't have anyone who could control mental equipment. Fortunately, there is a medic among the survivors. I'm sure he will be able to operate all the equipment. Waiting for you. Okay, so power. Uh, don't need it. power. Need to go there. 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 Done heat. Uh, now we need to do oxygen. Oh, we did oxygen, didn't we? Did we do oxygen? Oh, so that's powering up. Oxygen there. There. That one. Oxygen. Oh, someone's coming in. I'm not ready for you to dock. How cool does that look? Oh, hang on. I'm fighting the control. The controls are fighting me. Alright. Then. Uh, docking bay reserved. Right. Oh, no logistics. Whoops. So we need to go connections. We need to go. Let yeah. There. Ah, so we need oxygen. Why is the oxygen not working? Now it is. All right. Uh, no patient. Oh, here they come. They're docking. Awesome. Have a look. So cool. Alright, I'm loading. Full speed. Okay, so we've got some sick and injured people. Uh, we've got, is that a medic? Uh, a medic and a medic. Is that correct? Yeah, guys, are you a medic? Medic. Okay, so we need two med stations. That. That. Alright. They're treating a patient. Treat seven people, wowzers. So that is about to be finished. Oh, look at their injuries, poor buggers. Okay, that's the new build. We've created one person already. Okay, so connections. We need logistics and we need power. Boom. So let's just go triple speed because we need seven people treated. I'm not forward up. Oh, it's got a broken leg, ouch. He's burning. Oh, done. Oh, no patient. That's all right. Well, how's it going? Did everyone get the medical help they need? Yes, everything is okay. We got to them in time. Thank God. People are the most important thing. 
We've decided that staying in this location is a bad idea. We will need to disassemble and move the station to another oh, wow. location. Only then can we start examining the wreckage. Why? Has something happened? We're still too close to the wormhole. Its radiation greatly weakens the structural strength of the station. And after a while, it just falls apart. Please start disassembling the modules while we wow. prepare for towing the hub. Huh. Accepted. Working on it. Wow, that's interesting. How do you do that? Dismount all devices and dismount all modules. Wow. Okay, dismounting devices and modules. Any device or module can be disassembled. To do this, select the desired object and press dismount button on the panel. After that, any free technician will be engaged in dismounting the device or module. Upon completion of the operation, you will receive 50% of the construction kits at the full price. If you disassemble a broken device, only 30% is, is refunded. All right, well, jeez. All right, we'll dismount. Oh. We just cut the power, I guess. So anything not being used, I guess we just dismount. Are you sure you want to dismount this furniture? This section cannot be undone. Okay. So we have to do this to every single... The power is going to shut down, so everyone's going to lose pretty much everything. Wow, that's insane. Alright, so they're all dismounting. This, we need to dismount the docking, but uh, everyone has to get off though. Oh, no, they're going to go into the hub, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, get out of there. Get out of there, dude. Okay, pro guy, dismount. These, dismount. Yeah. Alright, so that's dismounting. This, this, this. Oh, you must remove all devices furniture from this module. Wow. That's done. They're being done. Oh. Right, they're dismounting. Good. Takes technician to dismount it, right? Oh wow! So cool. Yeah, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. All right. Mount. Yes. All right, so everyone's in the hub. That's where all the oxygen and power and warmth is. Now we just got to dismount the modules. Go okay, triple speed. So cool.
Excellent. Looks like we are ready to tow. We found a safe place to assemble a new station. The wormhole will be in direct line of sight and there will be no problems with communication. Great, let's start. Mission complete. Woohoo! Now I'm going to leave that playthrough there. That was the first mission for base one. Back to the menu, quit out. See, it's starting the new one. Okay. Well, I will leave it there so we don't spoil anything. Scrap metal. I can get back to the main menu. Oh, well, I'll close it there. All right, my name's Inferno. This was base one. I will see you for the next video and look forward to release oh, on May this 11th. Is Adele. Adele Ashmore.